thank you for coming and thank you for coming back this is the fourth vlog from the vegas vlog series and the last vlog we went to the bellagio hotel we dined at the lego restaurant while we dined we had this beautiful view of the bellagio fountain show which was so beautiful and then after that we visited that beautiful holy god and so magical and in this vlog we walk the strip at night the strip is so beautiful at night it's like new york all the buildings all the lights we are in the paris area close to the bellagio hotel the caesar palace and others so we are going to visit the paris hotel we are going all the way to the tap baby let's go take this ride with me this is inside of the paris hotel there are a lot of casino and look at this beautiful bridge this bridge is so beautiful you're walking in between some beautiful lights look at it this is so beautiful it's like you are outside but you are really inside the skylight is beautiful so we are going to take this elevator that's gonna take us all the way to the top <music> So you can walk around at the bottom of the hotel but if you want to go all the way to the top you have to buy a ticket that was from what i can remember around 20 or 30 dollars not more than that when you get up top look at it the view is so beautiful you see all the lights all the hotel you see the entire city While you are up top, you can also see the Bellagio Fountain Show. Wow. Wow. It's very high, guys. It's very high. If you are afraid of height, you may not be able to look down because you are very, very up top. But the view below, it's so beautiful. <music> We left the area for that night and then we went back to the hotel. The next day, we went to the Caesar Palace Pool, okay? The Caesar Palace Pool, there is, uh, you can rent the day bed and then you spend the day there. You can buy drinks, you can buy um, food. They have food and the menu, they have drinks. You can buy drinks, you can buy food um, and then spend the day there, bathing in the sun, bathing in the pool. A lot of people, they, are, they have different pools. Some of the pools, people are playing casino land. I'm like, people play casino everywhere. I don't play casino because I'm like, I am not about to waste my hard earned money. <laughs> I work hard, so I will not be wasting my money on casino. But if you are not a casino person, there are still a lot of things for you to do in Vegas. I did a lot. I enjoyed myself and I still feel like I didn't get to do a lot, but I did do a lot <laughs> just because there were so many other things to do. Like if you're not a casino person, you will find things to do also don't go to club so if you are not a club or party person you will still find a lot to do so the caesar palace is very beautiful it's a very beautiful place to go spend a day at 
Um, so we spent the day there. We paid $200 for the day to have a day bed. Uh, we used the pool. Um, you can buy food in there and eat, listen to music, bathing in the sun. It's beautiful. Vegas, they are not just like hotels. They are like hotel co connected to malls, to shopping center. Can you believe this is still inside of the Caesar Palace? Once you leave the Caesar Palace, I think you walk to the left. There is a huge mall area where they have a lot of high-end stores. A lot. They have a lot of luxury stores and it's so beautiful it feels like you are outside but you are actually inside like they have those nice statues they have those waterfalls they have restaurants in there and they have a lot a lot of luxury stores they have balenciaga they they have louis vuitton they have a lot a lot of high-end stores and it's so beautiful it's a beautiful vibe i wish i dressed up <laughs> when i went there so i could take more and more pictures but as soon as i left um the caesar palace hotel inside there you don't even need to go outside inside of the caesar palace as you walk there, there is this huge mall. I was shocked. My husband is like, oh my God, Vegas is so beautiful. And I said, yes, it is. It is beautiful. It's very, very nice. I love how they do things. It's like, because they don't have parkings. They, they are not like places where you park your car. Like you can park free all the time. But everything's are connected. You don't even need to have a car to go to Vegas. You can just go, take a Uber, and then once you are in one area, it's connected to all the other areas. palace we went to downtown vegas um i forgot the name of the street i think it's called fair fair fremont street this is fremont street we went down to um fremont street downtown las vegas there's still a lot of shops a lot of um locals people playing music in the streets a lot of band playing a lot of lights it was packed it was full of life we also visited the Area 15, but I didn't like it, so I didn't post it. It's another place you can visit too if you go to Vegas. Thank you so much for watching. If you like those videos, please like them when you watch. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Leave your opinion. Leave any ideas. 
I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, I have one last vlog. We went to the Hoover Dam. It's a, um, a lot of mountains, a lot of uh, bridges. It's a beautiful scenery. So uh, this will be the last vlog, the Hoover Dam. Uh, I'll be posting it soon. Um, this is us. We went to eat at a restaurant uh, that night. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Stay blessed. Stay calm. Be humble. Love one another. Love God. I love you. Thank you.